Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Brianna is. I am Brianna Long. So my biggest thing is at 24 today is loving myself. And when I say loving myself, it sounds so cliche, but I feel like we have taken cliches and just did away with cliches and just like, oh, that's so cliche. But no, it's very, cliches are very simple and they are the very keys to life. So, my number one thing right now at this point in my life is God, of course, but loving myself. Loving myself. When I love myself, I am showing God that I love Him. Just a little, some things about myself. Um, I'm not going to say, well, let me see how I want to put this. Because I want to be real with you all. But I don't want to be like trying to like seem like I'm down in myself or anything like that. <laughs> but um, I'm going to say that I didn't really process what self-love was until probably a bit of last year. And processing takes a while. Like say something traumatic, traumatic happens to you. It takes you a while to, to process that situation. Um, really analyze it, look at it, and say, hey, I'm going to do this differently. So it's really just a process, and then it's also a practice. I feel like process and practice go hand in hand. Learning how to love myself and who I am, the good, the very bad, the very bad, the very bad. Because, I mean, it's so easy to love the good things about ourselves, but to love the bad things as well and accepting ourselves and who we truly are and in every way that i mean people nobody but god knows the, deep, the the deepest parts of your heart the darkest parts of your heart so he is who helps you love yourself because he loves you through everything like through everything whatever it is he loves you unconditionally so that's how he wants us to love ourselves as well and I feel like sometimes we can be so critical of ourselves and what we're doing. And I was making dumb decisions. Everybody makes them. I still make them today. How I kind of checked myself on it was I was looking at the decisions that I was making. Um, with where I was spending my time at. Um, how I was taking care of myself. And just life like everyday decisions. And they weren't leaning in my direction they weren't my best interest to say oh that decision you put yourself first you love like girl you love yourself i see myself growing and making those important decisions now putting myself in places where it's like okay i love myself i love myself so i'm going to make this type of decision let me see if i can give you all a scenario i'm gonna go straight to relationships let's keep it 100. <coughs> sometimes we stay with people and not saying that they're bad people none of the people that i've dated personally are bad people but they are hurt people they are broken people and sometimes when you're dating people that are going through um their struggles and their lifely issues and they don't love themselves fully then it's just a recipe for disaster and um it's just something that you won't, don't want. So if I can't fully love myself, myself, who I am, then I'm not going to fully be able to love somebody else. If you don't fully love yourself, it's dangerous for you to try to actively love somebody else and try to give them your all when you don't even have your all to give yourself. So if you're not giving yourself 100%, you cannot give anybody else 100%. And notice I didn't say 50, I said 100%, more than 100%. Are you waking up every day giving yourself 100%? Or are you waking up every day giving somebody else 50%? I had to check myself. Like, I really had to check myself. And I'm just like, am I really waking up giving myself 100%? Am I really... Do I feel like, I, am I happy with where I'm at right now? And if not, why am I not happy with where I'm at right now on this journey? Because I feel like 
even on your journey, whether it's good or bad, you should still be in love with your journey. And if you're not in love with your journey, you are making poor decisions. You don't have to make poor decisions. Things are going to happen to you regardless. But if you can avoid certain avenues and dark alleys, avoid them. And you can simply avoid so many things by just choosing yourself first and loving yourself first. And it's just like... Being by myself has really given me my own, my space, my space to not argue with myself, but really be like, dang, girl, I'm going to need you to work on that. You need to work on that. Like, you're worried about the wrong thing. The person that you're going to marry or the person that you're going to be with is not even attracted to you right now because I'm constantly in a state of evolving. I'm constantly in a state of getting better, doing better things. So it's just like you you're out not outgrowing um people but you're outgrowing certain mindsets you're outgrowing certain uh perceptions and stuff like that so for somebody to come and meet you yes come and meet you on your level and have something to offer you and have something to give you that's how you want it to flow you want that to be attracted to your spirit we get so comfortable with the norm of misery loves company that we're we think we're okay we we think we're happy when we're really not happy like sis give yourself some time to evolve into the woman that god wants you to be give yourself some space give yourself some breather try different things explore different things anything Keep an open mind as you're walking on your journey and as you continue to choose yourself first and say, hey, I don't deserve this. I value myself more than that. Then you'll just become lighter in your spirit and you won't you won't even like dislike anybody. You won't dislike anybody that's done you done you wrong in the past or oh, he's missing out. Let him miss out. Bye. Let him miss out. Let him miss out because what God has for you is always going to be for you no matter what tries to block it. No weapon formed against me show what? Okay. But you just have to go through some things. Everything. Look at it as a learning experience. Pray against unforgiveness. Pray against brokenness. Pray against hurt. Pain um soul ties soul ties lord jesus pray against soul ties because those are so freaking strong like so strong and if you don't fight in the spirit it's so hard to get out of broken soul ties and what you think is love and then if you're if you're in a relationship right now be honest with yourself you ain't gotta be honest with nobody else Watch this video by yourself, whatever. Ask yourself this question by yourself. If you're in a relationship right now and you find yourself settling, um, you find yourself unhappy, you find yourself uh, jealous, you find yourself bitter, angry, any of those things that show signs of an unhealthy relationship or you know you can do better, ask yourself, how do I feel about me? Do I really feel like I deserve this man? Or this boy do I really feel like I deserve this relationship and if you feel like you deserve this relationship sister girl sister sis you have to love yourself and you have to be bold enough to say I'm gonna love myself I'm gonna choose myself first this time I'm gonna let go of this no matter how terrified i am of being alone god did not give you a spirit of fear but of life in a sound mind go forth with that and keep, keep remember I, I speak about standing on your promises it helps you fight in your spiritual mind it helps you um block so many worldly things that are going to try to come against you and try to come and consume you and give you the illusion of what the world thinks love is but we have to fall on our faces and seek God because if you don't know the source and how much the source loves you and really understand that and really can process that you won't have that same love for yourself 
and you won't be able to have that same love for your brother or your sister no matter what type of relationship it is so you want to make sure you fall on your face you get to know your father and he's our father but he is also our friend as well talk to him about anything anything you can talk to him about anything i've been there i've yelled at him a couple of times i've let him know how i felt honestly and through it he's been there the whole time and he just heals me heals me through it he heals me through it hold on like a friend like your best friend speak to him like he's your best friend we have the ability to do that it's free it's free all we have to do is open our mouths and speak to him and spend that time in his presence and that's where you find your love and that's where you find out how much your father loves you he loves you so freaking much and it took me a while to process that it took me a while to get it but now since I got it I'm so much more at peace with my journey no matter what hard roads I've hit or what hard roads are to come he's given me the endurance to push through it believe in him believe in his word stand on his word and know that God wants the best for my life and he wants the best for our life as a collective so become whole in him become whole in love allow yourself these things so um that is where i'm where i'm at at 24 and i am still freaking learning and it's been a journey i don't want my husband right now i do want a husband i don't want a husband right now at all i'm like really in love with my me time i'm really in love with my serenity i'm really in love with and like i said it's a process it's definitely a process i am learning to become whole in him because i know if i become whole in him i'm gonna be a bomb woman of god i'm gonna be the woman he created me to be and i just have so much more to bring to the table for not only myself but my family not only my family but others just sharing being whole and sharing in love while you're whole you know so. 24 my birthday wish for 24 is just being whole in christ being whole in christ and understanding what that truly means and what it means deeply I, get, I think I, I get good enough with my rant, but um, I love, love, love you guys. And I really appreciate all of the love and the subscribes that I have been getting. And um, like, subscribe, and comment. I love, 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 love you guys so much. And always remember, be love in everything you do. And please continue to walk with me on this journey. We can grow together. Uh, learn to love ourselves together fall on our face together pray together all those wonderful beautiful things um again i love 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 you all and see you later